Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So today we're going to be taking a look at the FXT gesture control camera in VTX. Now like any other YouTuber or reviewer, I've also gotten sent this from FXT and I really wanted to see its latency as well as if it's a gimmick or how responsive it is to actually change the channels through the gesture. So let's get started here so first of all you obviously get the camera the vtx which is selectable i think it's a 37 channel vtx which is the u.s channels that are legal that are available on this and uh it's a pit mode 25 milliwatt and 200 milliwatt however in the settings i was getting 600 milliwatts it was telling me for some reason but I don't know why I was getting that. We'll double check that later. Maybe it meant 200 is the 600. I don't know. Also, a couple things to take note of. The VTX only takes 5 volt input. So this is kind of, I would say, aimed towards a micro in a way. But um, you could possibly use this on anything. So we're going to test this guy's latency and the overall gesture control system mechanism here. Now, connection is absolutely simple. Everything is labeled and the connector only fits one wire. So you just, you know, basically you'll figure it out. Uh, just by trying to put them in together. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and reboot this, and let's go ahead and start. So I've connected everything, made sure I'm on the correct channel. All right, so now it should boot. As I know, I'm supposed to keep my finger right in front till I get the uh, menu up top. So we can see it's giving me indoor now, 25 milliwatts. So I'm going to remove my hand, and I should swipe up maybe closer to the camera like this. There we go, 200 milliwatts. 600 milliwatts. I don't know why it's giving me 600 milliwatts. Uh, maybe this is a pre-production model. So I'm going to leave it at 25 milliwatts here. I'm going to bring my finger back in front of the camera. Right now I'm just touching the camera. So here's the frequency. I'm going to keep the frequency exactly the same way it is. I'm not going to go and start searching for it. And uh, let's go ahead and check the profile. So we have indoors. Twilight. Personal. Uh, sunny cloudy and indoor is just really nice in here actually so it's it's working like it's supposed to and it's actually pretty responsive and uh let's go ahead and take the camera apart and check its current latency and we we'll take it from there all right guys so let's go ahead and take our first samples from the camera that comes with the fxt gesture box now up top we have the video feed which is this right here and on the bottom we have the led so basically this is off 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 and this is where it went on when it went high that means it went on we're going to test both when the led turns on and when the led turns off and we can actually see the change in the video signal as you can tell right there so this is off and then this is where it booted up and if we zoom in we can actually see the difference so just a moment so if we zoom in like this, we can see the point at where the LED went on and where we actually saw the change in the camera. So let's go ahead and measure that real quick. So our first result is 2.04 milliseconds of latency. So it is FXT. This is the second FXT camera I've ever tested. And um, they're all, usually all of them are between 2 milliseconds. It's, I think they're using the same type of sensor or something. What do we have here? We have 2.2 milliseconds, basically. Or we can say 2.3 milliseconds. This is pretty amazing. Uh, what you want to see is basically below 20 milliseconds. Above 35 milliseconds is the no-go zone. Um, but below 20 milliseconds is remarkable. But below 5 milliseconds is insane. Uh, that is really good. So let's go ahead and do another zoom here. And it's roughly around the same area, I would say. 1.8 milliseconds this is crazy now we're also going to test when the led turns off usually that is the uh part where we get the most latency on all cameras i've noticed is once we start turning off the led uh that's when the latency actually increases for some reason so on led turning on it's right now it's around let's see i would say 1.3 milliseconds holy crap i don't think i've ever gotten anything to test that fast the one before it was the FXT Mars Pro, which was just a constant 2 millisecond on LED turn on. But to be honest, I wasn't expecting to get anything faster than that. Wow. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and test when the LED turns off. So I'm just setting it up. So once the LED drops below this line here. So let's go ahead and take our first test when the LED turns off. There we go. We just got it in. And we can say roughly right there is when the LED turned off. So we're getting... 10.3 milliseconds so it's still well below the 20 millisecond range and again all cameras have just larger latency when the led turns off for some reason so let's go ahead and do that again and i don't even have to measure again 10.3 milliseconds okay and let's just zoom in again 10.3 milliseconds 
Is it really that consistent? This is just insane. Their cameras are unbelievably consistent. It's 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 out of this world to be honest. I've never seen a camera like this. Oh man, this is just um I don't know what to say. 10.3 milliseconds. Really? Just always 10.3 milliseconds? Oh, here we have something a little bit different. We can say 9.2 milliseconds, but this is the pre-equalization pulse, as you can tell that right there in the middle. Because you could also see that green one, or I don't know what color you're seeing it there. But where I'm moving this, those flat lines right there, those are pre-equalization pulses. So we can roughly say this is where I actually started processing the image, which is 10.9 milliseconds. This is the largest uh, latency I've gotten with this camera, which is still one of the best cameras. It's well below 20 milliseconds, well below 15 milliseconds. And uh, let's go ahead and zoom in again. What do we have here? 10.5 milliseconds. And what do we have here? It's the same, 10.5 milliseconds. But it actually started registering when the LED turned off here. And you can see it's going down. It got it dipped a little bit longer, than, lower than that right there. We can increase the resolution slightly here. So let's just do that. And I'm going to drop this line slightly. And let's take another sample. And let's see what we get here. 10.5 milliseconds still right there, as you can tell. It is very consistent, like perfectly consistent. I mean, we could say its latency with the LED turning off is 10 milliseconds and roughly less than 2 milliseconds when the LED is turning on. Let's go ahead and check that again one more time. Um, these are really great cameras, actually. Okay, so I have to just modify my trigger point. Okay, and let's zoom in here. Oh, wrong zoom. So what we want to see, as you can tell, the LED was off and turned on here. And then this is where the video signal was actually caught that caught the LED turning on, which is two milliseconds. Perfect. That's just uh, remarkable, to be honest. Um, let's go ahead and zoom in again. And this one's actually a little bit faster, I would say. This one is 1.56 milliseconds. And I just noticed... I think it'll be very hard for you guys to see that on camera now. Uh, we need to drop the resolution slightly here. And we need to push this up. So I don't get an... As you can tell, it's around... Yeah, it's around 1.52 milliseconds. This is just... Uh, it's really good. These are really fast cameras. Really fast cameras. 1.52 milliseconds. Again, let's do a little bit more zoomed in. We can say 1.6 milliseconds. No, actually, no, we don't. 1.34 milliseconds, actually, there. Let's do another one. Oh, wrong zoom. And I would say right here, 1.46 milliseconds. It's really, really consistent. And this, this is the number that I'm actually looking at right there. Uh, these cameras are really fast, guys. Like, really fast. I don't know what the hell they're using inside of them. But um, I do have some of the newer cameras also on the way. So like the Fox Ears and the Run Cams. So we'll be testing those and see how well those do as well. But um, yeah, these cameras are doing really good. Way below 20 milliseconds. Anything below 20, 15, anything below 15 milliseconds is uh, really good. And so far, the two that I've tested from FXT are well below 15 milliseconds. Uh, especially the the Mars Pro was just remarkable. It was two milliseconds LED turning on consistent and turning off was no more. It didn't even reach four milliseconds if I remember like 3.5 milliseconds. So two to 3.5 millisecond of its consistent latency on LED on or off, which is remarkable for that camera. This one's still unbelievably good too. Um, so yeah. And it's a good camera. I don't know how well the VTX is going to run, but I do have the equipment to test that's currently on the way. Once it gets here, we'll actually test it's this one's current VTX. And I'll set this up on a build as well. Hopes, hopefully, I do have a lot of things to set up on builds. So, yeah, we'll probably see that soon again. But uh, overall, these are this is a really good testing result. This camera is really fast. Uh, the gesture box or the gesture device itself is uh, is really responsive. I didn't expect it to be that responsive. I thought it was just going to be like a little gimmick, but it was actually really responsive i personally won't use it but i know a lot of people who might use it but um yeah overall it's good i don't see i didn't notice anything bad with it it was working as advertised basically and just a huge shout out to fxt that's they're doing a really great job here 
And I can't wait to see. Uh, hopefully, they're going to make an HD recording camera because if they use the same chips that are th these cams are using, then they're going to have a really good camera on their hand, especially with the quality they're outputting on these cameras. And, well, that's going to conclude it for this video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If I help you make a purchase or avoid a purchase, please consider using the links down below. You don't even have to purchase the same thing. It'll just greatly support the channel. And also, do you have a Patreon if you can support me there? That'll be absolutely awesome. And, well, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.